To my big surprise, whom did I see here in France on Armistice Day of November the 11th in Paris? Yeah, Karl Sturmer, reminding me of the other Muslim lover who had a couple of Muslim SS divisions and also standing up in his open car. Doing the salute, just like Karl Sturmer, saluting all his imaginary fans in Paris. I don't think he has many, though. But okay, the show must go on. Never mind if the whole shebang goes tits up. Der Sturmer could always flee to the motherland of the neutral principality in the Alps, where he has many influential friends in Davos, and hide in Kstad, like the pedophile Pedolansky, the alleged rapist Mohammed Al-Fayyad, also in Kstad, the royal assassin Prince Emmanuel of Savoy, also in Kstad, and many, many others. About the latter, you can see more in this video from last year. So it's on the same channel, you see, 11 months ago. And this is the town, Kstad, you know, where, and this is the title, Kstad, the G-town and the essence of Swiss neutrality. I explained Swiss neutrality in this video. And Stad is where they're all hiding. The assassin prince of Savoy, uh, Pedro Lansky, and uh, Mohammed Al Fayed, and many, many others. Of course, Starmer has also a plan B if things go wrong and being officially indicted as a traitor of the English people. Starmer, der Sturmer, could always go to Qatar and join his Hamas pals. Well, anyone who's anti-British seems to be welcome in Qatar. So, easy der Sturmer and a Qatari sultan or emir or prince. So, he see the Qatar flag. And of course, as a good pupil as you all are, you see immediately the colors red and white, Templar's colors. And it's like broken, like two parts here, or like ripped apart, you know. But the red and white is, of course, also the red house and the white house of Pharaoh. Well, let me explain it to you. To the right, the Qatari flag. And in Arabic, Qatar gets pronouns Qatar, where Ka in the Pharaonic Demotic is the living soul when alive, and Sar is king or pharaoh, Qatar, Ka, Sar, where the souls of king pharaohs live. Red and white are the colors of the Knights Templars and Switzerland, their neutral base in the Alps, also called the Principality. So the red and white in the flag represents this. Knights Templars come out of Pharaoh's nobility, which I explained in my video, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, Part 1, N-W-O, Nazi Templars. I can't pronounce N-W-O because the machine will know it. And then it will say in the description, which I don't like. Therefore, the Knights Templars adopted the red and white colors of their ancestors of the Perhet White House of Upper Egypt, representing the Republican 
and WO, horizontal rule, and the per tasser, red house of lower Egypt, representing the feudal OWO, vertical rule. Therefore, the red in the Qatari flag is slightly bigger because Qatar is an absolute monarchy of the feudal rule of red for our masters aristocracy and not a fake constitutional monarchy as England is. Therefore, I chose next to the flag the picture of King Charles to the left, whose knighting sire, Keir Starmer, der Stürmer, because both the king and der Stürmer want a real monarchy back, thus teaming up with Qatar and its jihadists who want a worldwide Pertasser Red House feudal vertical rule, one world government called a caliphate, and misusing Islam for their own pharaonic goals, like Mecca, make England kingdom again. Therefore, their only real adversary has a White House and W.O. per head, and will therefore always defend the J.J. Bays of the Jaywalkers, being the only real horizontal rule republic subsidiary of the per head White House. Therefore, the zigzag pattern in the Qatari flag symbolizing the internal war of Pharaoh's worldwide nobility in between the vertical rule Red House and the horizontal rule White House. The zigzag is the schism going on for 6,000 years now leading to two world wars and a third coming up, which we, their slaves, need to fight for them, as mere chess pieces being set up on a chessboard, and yes, and being set up, they are the dumb slaves, also called humanity. Of course, the red part of the Qatari flag is bigger than the white part, because Qatar is an absolute monarchy of the Per Tasser Red House of Pharaoh. In this internal war, torn apart through the schism in between red and white, the Reds have been lying and acting against the Whites for the last 20 years, with Russia, Hamas, and the rest of the Reds of the Red House saying, yes, we want to collaborate with the Whites, also called the West, and we want a real horizontal rule, democracy, and, well, we're not telling you, but we just want your military technology and make some good money selling oil from the Middle East and, and Russia. Just acting. Until Putin, the liar and man without a word, with all his jihadi caliphate guys, suddenly stabbed the horizontal rule whites 
in the back on February 24th, 2022 and on October 7th, 2023. This is why the jihadi caliphate guys are all being issued with Russian weapons by the Rusky Reds, Russian assault rifles, Russian tanks, Russian RPGs, and Russian missile technology for Hamas, Hezbollah, and Iran. And this is, in fact, why the Ruskies are called the Reds, which has, in fact, nothing to do with the commies and never had. What I'm doing here is forbidden, and I'm breaking the oath of the house of Saint Croix Rose du Plessis, which I pledged as a kid and later teenager, never to tell the dumb slaves about this under the penalty of eternal death. But I see no other way to save this planet and my born a slave children. This is why the Swiss Octagon tried to eliminate me two months ago. All this, what I told here, can be read in this Qatari flag and its zigzag schism in between the Pertasser Red House and the Perhet White House of Pharaoh's worldwide nobility. With all this information on the enemy within, I gave you dumb slaves the tool to free yourselves, but you're not doing anything with this information, like spreading it to the rest of humanity. Most of you are just bored consumers who don't know what to do with your day and will consequently forget all this information after a few weeks. Well, this is humanity at its best. Everyone for himself, forget about the rest. I was warned about this by the house when I was a kid. This is the primordial dilemma that poses Pharaoh. What to do with the dumb slaves? History repeats itself, and our masters are still the same ones and have no fantasy, always play the same tricks on us. Therefore, it is crucially important to know your history and compare, as comparing the lab results is a very professional and scientific approach. I compare then to the left with now to the right, and nothing has changed. Not even the names are changed, as Starmer's name means Der Stürmer, as I've proven you in my previous video on Starmer. Same players, same names, same setup, same dumb slaves. What was then is now, and what is now was then. What is left is right, and what is on the right side is on the left side, as above, so below. 
So watch this symbol here on the left hand side down corner. And here on French TV, it says ceremony of November the 11th in an octagon. So here you see the octagon, octagon, because it's a uh, Swiss German organization of the Nazi Templars. And here it says ceremony of November the 11th, the octagon. Watch my video, Octagon, the Empire of Darkness, in order to understand that. In order to understand the uh, octagon in the logo of that uh, armistice where Mr. Starmer was. So you can find that video here on my older channel, Gats of Gats. Uh, it has almost 100,000 100, views, or it had seven years ago, probably eight. It says Octogon, the Empire of Darkness. I had to re-upload it a couple of times in different channels because every time they took it off, They took my whole channel off. I think the first time I had it on my first channel, Gure, I don't know, 12 years ago, maybe. So here you can see the logo again, which was um, on the uh, French TV, uh, the left-hand side down, where the car was of uh, the Jeep where Starmer was standing in. It was exactly this symbol. There are eight, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for Octagon, twice. and. Watch this carefully. Here it's a there is one, two, three, you know, and that represents, of course, a fleur de lis. And I'll tell you more about this later. So here it says in French, commemoration, armistice, uh, November the 11th, 2024, at uh, eight at four o'clock. This is where Der Stürmer, where he was, together with uh, the monarch Macron. So this octagon is in blue for Pharaoh's war crown. You know, Pharaoh had three crowns, red, white, for the red and white house, and there was the, the blue war crown. The blue Pharaoh's war crown in blue with eight fleurs de lis representing Pharaoh's nobility of France, who still rule today in a horizontal rule republic. It's all there, you know. Similarly, the Canadian maple leaf flag also represents a fleur de lis, of course, which I already showed you 14 years ago in several of my videos on symbols, numbers, logos, secret signs, and handshakes. I also showed you that the Ukrainian flag, the Ukrainian symbol, is also a fleur de lis. You also got these three things here, you know, just like this, one, two, three, just like this one here, one, two, three. And each separate one has also one, two, three, which happens to be exactly the same one in Le Bleuet de France here, one, two, three. You see, it's the same, you know, so... Even this separate one is also a fleur de lis. And then the big one, one, two, three, is also a fleur de lis. Same as here, where it says Le Bleuet de France. So, well, I'll show you a uh, better picture explaining it. So, this is the octagon which was shown at the um, November the 11th Armistice Day. The octagon logo of the death flower, Le Bleuet, has exactly the same sides sticking out as the Canadian flag shows, where each of the three sides of the Canadian flag sticking out has again three parts, once more representing the fleur de lis, just as on the Le Bleuet, cornflower, armistice logo. Coincidence? No, not really. The fleur de lis is the symbol of the French king and his royal house, 
who of course still rule today by its princes in the new aristocratic system of the republic horizontal rule. So here you see it as a badge, here it says France, La, uh, La France, France. Here, look at this here, the three parts sticking out of the Canadian flag. It, this represents a fleur de lis, so represents the whole thing, one, two, three. But this here sticking out, now you find it here again, the same thing. And this is old, you know, this is from 1918, after the First World War, maybe even older. It says, I hope you can read it, Le Bleuet de France, in blue of the war crown of Pharaoh. He also had a red crown of the Red House, the Royals, and white of the White House. You know, So actually, the Canadian flag, it means the Royals of the Old World's Order, the Red House of Pharaoh, the Pertasse, they are operating within the White House of the NWO, I can't say that word, the horizontal rule, you know. So they have to obey the, um, like, a mo the uh, like England is a constitutional monarchy. So white represents the constitution and red is the monarchy. So it's completely enclosed, the monarchy is completely enclosed by the White House, the horizontal rule of Pharaoh, the Perhet, the Republic, the democratic system. They have to obey. This is what it says, you know. All these logos, all these symbols, and all these numbers, none of them is a coincidence. It's all very much calculated. They know it, but you don't. And the Canadian Prime Minister, his name Trudeau, actually means a water hole, as from Le Trudeau, or rather, un trou du beep. Even a water hole in French slang is a money hole, through which your tax money is disappearing, which he's laundering in the bathtub. Hmm, Starmer's order of the bathtub again. In French slang, du liquide means money, and literally it means liquid, like water. So, Mr. Trudeau or Trudeau du liquide means a money hole, the proverbial hole of the state's treasury department. Le bleuet is a cornflower in English and grows on battlefields, nourishing itself from the blood of the dumb slaves who stupidly enough believe the master's lies, their propaganda and their heroic war movies. So it says again, the Bleuet de France, Le Bleuet de France, you know, octogon, fleur de lis, the whole thing is there. And here you can see the flower. It's a bit like uh, La Cardabelle, you know, what we saw in the, uh, it's also a sun, all sort of, you know, what we saw in that Templar's um, town of uh, La Couvertoirade. So here you see a guy, he's missing one limp, you know, with, with crutches here, and here's the family. And it says here, uh, les victimes de guerre, the victims of the war. And it says, emblem du combattant. So in 1918, you know, they were like collecting money, you know, having this badge, you know, and say, give me some money. Uh, I definitely need a bottle of wine. I can't handle it anymore. And here as well, you see them here. Of course, there are, looks like there are three flowers here for them. And it says here, Fleur de France, Le Bleuet. And also, the French, of course, they had a blue uniform. They called them the Blues against the Reds. In this case, the English were the Reds, but it's only because of the uniform. Nothing more, really. But, well, I say nothing more. Of course, it's the nobility, you know, the Red. 
it's it's all in the colors, the numbers, the uh, also here one, two, three, one big one for Seth, and the little ones for um, yeah. This one is even in the middle. This is Isis, and the very small one for Horus. There you go. It's always the same stuff. In the middle of the flower, there is a circle for the compass and concept of three, which represents our masters who stay behind, will not perish in some dumb war, and merely carry that death flower on their jacket, as you can see here. Therefore, it says, aidons ceux qui restent, meaning, help those who stay behind. Well, who are the masters themselves, of course, who won't risk their necks and stay behind? I guess that Le Bleuet de France are four words, and so is aidons ceux qui restent. So it says the concept of three and four, for square and compass, for those who see and are initiated in the various secret orders. So here you see a circle, it's octagon here, eight, fleur de lis, and here as well. Here's another circle, there are three circles all together, maybe four with the white included, so that's also the concept of four in itself. And then here are four words for the concept of four, and here's so four words. So, add on ce qui reste, it means help those who stay behind. Well, who stays behind? Well, these two, of course, right? Le bleu est de France. There are these flowers here. So, one circle, two circle, three, four circles. So, even without the words, it says four. And for this, the concept of three and four. So, it says square and compass all together. And this flower here is the poppy, sucks up our blood. And this one here, le bleuet, it's the cornflower. It also sucks up our blood. And it grows after the, after the battle. Der Stürmer, next to Macron, with his bleuet, cornflower, death flower, wears the red coquelicot, or poppy flower also growing on battlefields, nourishing itself from spilled English blood, while Macron wears the French blue blood, probably. So here you can see the masters of death, sending the slaves to their deaths on the battlefield, represented by the red and blue death flowers. And as both of these flowers have sucked up our blood after the battle, by wearing these blood sucker flowers on their jackets mean that they have our blood on their hands. So, in spite of the fact that this one is red, which is the nobility, the red crown of Pharaoh also, and this is the blue war crown, and that this one is blue, these flowers do exactly the same thing. They are blood sucker flowers. So this is the poppy, the French, the poppy flower, and the French call them coquelicot, sucks up our blood. And the French equivalent is uh, le bleuet, it's the corn flower. And both of these flowers, they are growing on battlefields and they're full of our blood. So these two guys here, you know, they're saying, you know, we've got the, the blood of the slaves on our hands. You know, they are, they are wearing the blood and, and they know it. They know the meaning of this, you know. Oh, you can't believe me. <laughs> the anagram for Macron is monarch and he officially is the prince of Andorra, the principality in the Pyrenees between France and Spain. And as you can see in French, monarch is being written without the H. 
So it's the same letters as Macron. So here you can see three Muslim lovers standing in an open car or jeep. Well, he, it's quite obvious, him also, you know, fighting against the English. And him here as well, which I explain in a minute, and you already know it, he's protecting like the Muslims. So we could just as well, so this is 1933 or something, and this is 2024, we could just as well turn this around. This is 1933, and this is 2024. Because it's still the same thing, history repeats itself. They're the same players, the same people, you know. It looks the same with the same car, the same standing up here. You know, that's quite obvious. So this is 1933, you know. And the jaywalkers, they're having an existential battle for their survival. And they are defending the Muslims, these two here. And he also killed the jaywalkers, and he had two Muslim divisions and a uh, Arab uh, Muslim brigade and an Azerbaijani brigade. So it's all the same, you know, it's the same setup, same players. Um, and uh, well, they and and also this here. What we have now, you know, with this invasion of Muslims, and again, I have no problems with Muslims. I have pretty good experiences with them. They're the only ones in Europe with whom I can talk about the pink list killers. Well, they understand it. I can't say what we talk about because of the censorship. But you know what I mean. They are, they, they've got pretty um, uh, interesting ideas what to do with the pink list killers. Well, you know about this, you know. And um, this guy here was a, a pink list killer. And uh, so this is the result of this here. You know, the, re the invasion by Muslims in Europe and to realize this invasion, they had to murder and have the Europeans kill each other. You know, the French killing, uh, the fighting the Germans and fighting the Eng the Germans fighting the English and the Russians. Uh, what was it? 52 million dead Europeans. So that left a big, a big gap, so to say. And they filled it up here and the other ones since 1945, exactly starting in 1945, the end of the Second World War. So we could just as well turn this around and this is the result of this. It's connected. You see what I mean? It's all connected and they're all Muslim lovers. You know, this is very important to understand this. And also this here, you see Adolf here with this Philistine guy, Amin al-Husseini. He was the head of two Muslim divisions. And the same thing happening today with Mr. Stormer. And they also had Der Stormer, remember? The magazine the anti-Jaywalker magazine. And he, by his actions, you know, like terrorizing the British people, the indigenous people, uh, who are the only ones in Britain that could, you know, help the Jaywalkers. And he's like fighting the English, you know. He's having a good time shaking hands here with the Arabs and uh, with the Muslims. So this is probably, 19, let's say, 1933, and this is 2024. But it could just be the other way around, you know, this 1933 and this 2024. And this here is the result, you know, now they are really replacing or the Europeans. And here it needed to make a big gap. So this guy, he did a real big jihad in the Balkans with half a million people that Europeans, whiteies, yeah. And it's, it's still the same thing, you know. And people don't see it, that it's still the same thing. That's why I made this uh, collage here. So Adolf had two Muslim SS divisions, Arab and Azerbaijani brigades in the German army and was friends with 
Amin al Husseini received Saudi Arabs in 1939, which you can see here, about which I did this very important video here 12 years ago. So, you know, they're changing jackets, you know, the Muslims, you know. In those days, they were doing the, um, the Adolf salute, you know. Funny enough, he's saluting back like this. Don't know why. They do that probably only amongst each other and not against others. And, uh, you know, they change, the, the Muslims are just changing jackets, you know, very easily. Now they've teamed up with the Ruskies, so yeah, they better not do this anymore, you know. The Ruskies better not see this. You know, let's put it this way. And, uh, and the Ruskies now, they give them all the weapons, all the assault rifles, all Rusky stuff that the, um, the Arabs, the Muslims have, and the Philistines. The tanks, the airplanes, the um, missile technology, it's all by the Ruskies. In those days, well, you probably guess where they got the technology and the weapons from in those days, eh? like this one's here. You know? And again, I have no problems with Muslims, really, I don't. They are the only ones in, like in France here who, with whom I can talk about pink list killers and about women as well. You know? you know, in South Africa, we also have different ideas, or we used to have, I don't know how it is now, about women. You know, uh, we don't w want to be dominated by some um, hysterical female pink list killer with a tattoo. No way, Jose. No, 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 no. That's, that should be stopped now. It's enough. You know, I'm a man, okay? And only Muslims ex understand it. So I've, I've got good conversations with them, you know? And um, they take me hitchhiking, and especially the uh, the Muslim women. They, I'm just sitting outside somewhere, and they come with food. You know, I'm not even asking anything, and really with a nice smile and all that. And uh, but as soon as they talk talk about the Philistines and about um, you know the Jaywalkers, then you cannot have a conversation anymore with them. So what do I do? I, I just say, no, no, listen, I don't want to talk about this subject because I know, uh, you know, they're pretty head-hearted, hot-headed, sorry. And uh, there's no conversation possible anymore, you know. And uh, that's finished. Maybe three years ago it was possible, but now after the October 7th, it's not possible anymore. And um, so I said, listen, I can... I can teach you something new, you know. What do you think about the king of Saudi Arabia? And they say, oh, we don't like him. Muslims, they don't like him. He's bad against Muslims. So you see, you know, it's not only the jaywalkers. And I say, listen up. If you got half an hour, I'll explain you by who, by whom you're being ruled by, you know, and the caliphate you want, you know, the khalifa. Uh, they're putting one finger. Now, now he's five fingers up or five, four, you know. And then if they put one finger up, like the, the index finger here, it means the Khalifa. They do this all the time, you know. This is what it means. So <clears throat> I, and I explain him and I prove him that's really bad, but they're completely brainwashed, you know. It's, um, <coughs> I, I just don't get it in, in their heads, you know. Uh, maybe if there's some jaywalkers in the JJ base, they can let me come there. And I talk with prisoners, and they can't escape me. You know, see what I mean? And I'll brainwash them, you know, from A to Z. And I make uh, friends out of them, you know. But I, like when they're in, in prison, you know, you know then I'll, 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 I'll do the job, you know. I can, I can stop the war with my information. I can. I speak fluent German, English, um, French, Swiss German, Schweizerdeutsch and some other languages. And um, yeah, so if there's any jaywalkers in the JJ base, I'll do that for you, you know, because the information is the only weapon. If you don't do it, you're lost. You're going to do some J running again. I know it. And you probably know it as well. So this is the title here. You must absolutely watch this. Yeah, and it's on my channel, Gatse Frats.
Gat, that's Swiss German for a cat. Would you believe it? Eh? And um, it's from the October the 17th, 2012. So I made it 12 years ago. I've, I've been here helping you for 14 years. And I got hardly any more views nowadays like this, you know. So yeah, I need to do something else. Starmer, Der Sturmer, protects jihadi terrorists and puts innocent Englishmen away for many years. He's accumulating English political prisoners to protect his dear Muslims. Macron in 2024 just called for an international arms embargo against the JJ base of the jaywalkers in order to protect his beloved Muslim jihadists so the jihadis can eradicate the jaywalkers. And Macron banned jaywalker arms companies to participate in the 2024 Paris Arms Exposition. As you can see here with the French, the magnificent Caesar cannon, here's the French flag, the flag of the European community. So he banned the jaywalkers from, from about everything with a certain goal of course and as a direct consequence to that and to macron's actions the jaywalkers arrested two french policemen in the jj bay's capital on french soil in a french enclave in the jj bay's capital so the French, they have a very ancient um, part of the JJ base capital, a tiny part because of the Christians, I suppose, because there are three religions all there. And this is the actual picture of what happened. Well, we can all see that the French policeman doesn't look very French, that he is a Philistine and a Muslim and most likely maybe allegedly a jihadi terrorist you know and here you see the jaywalker police of the jj base so this flag here is the jj base because of the censorship i'm not allowed to pronounce this and um so this happened last week on november the 7th 2024 so there's a lot of frictions going on recently actually right now here to the left you can watch this video on x <laughs> so appropriate video x i actually don't know if you say this in english but in french to say video x it means a, a certain type of video like this like forbidden for children or you know so I heard it in France, but I don't know if you say this in English. It's such a long time I left South Africa, you know. So just as in World War II, all the top Nazis on all key positions in the Reich were pinkless killers, like Jutta Rüdiger, the head of the Bund Deutscher Mädels, the group of uh, the, the, the female... Um, Oh, I can't pronounce it, the Adolf Youth. Baldo von Schirach, he was the head of the Adolf Youth. You know what I mean, with the H, eh? And Ernst Röhm, the head of the SA Sturmabteilung, you know, the stormtroopers, like Mr. Sturmer, you know, that means also a stormtrooper. Uh, Karl Sturmer, Oskar Delewanger, an incredible psychopath and most likely Adolf himself as well. You see, it's again the same thing then as now. As above, this is the American spelling, you know, as above, so below. With pinkless killer Nazis on all key positions who want 
to eradicate the jaywalkers once and for all. Then and now. So here I wrote it down, it, um, slightly different spelling as it should be, like, you know, as above, so below, but a different spelling. Um, as to the left, uh, to the right, this was then, and now this is this here. And they tried to forbid this, you know, it, it, this came out this summer. And um, they said, no, it's not real, you know, it's like uh, photoshopped and all this. But, but you can see the video. It is real, you know, when we know what kind of guy he is, you know. He, uh, what he did on the uh, La Fête de la Musique, I think it was 2017, inviting all the pink list killers. I made a video about it. So I gave you a lot of, you know, comparisons, like as above, so below. You know, above is to the left and below to the right, you know, making a nice cross, like a Templar's cross, above, below, and left, right. And, um, and this one again. You know, this is how it was then. You know, all these pink list killers on, on the biggest key positions, the highest positions, just as today now. This could be 1933 again, and this 2024. And the same aim, what is their aim again? You know, to eradicate the jaywalkers for some reason or another. And also, of course, the Europeans, you know why these three men use Muslims as a tool towards, again, another goal. Well, they all wanted and still want the return of the feudal vertical rule through the caliphate. It's so simple, really. In order to achieve that goal, our masters need to get rid of the English, the Scots, the Welsh, the Irish, and all the indigenous Europeans of Britain, the barbarians, so to speak, because Pharaoh knows that they will never be able to squeeze the English into a feudal system as the Muslims are hungering for that feudal Sharia law caliphate and to get ruled by Pharaoh. Therefore, Starmer's Gestapo is terrorizing the English, as they recently did with journalist Alison Pearson a few days ago, on November 13th, 2024, and also to many others getting harassed by Der Stormers Muslim SS Division, who call themselves the Sussex Police, with the Muslim sword called Hanjar, as in the logo of the Muslim SS Division. Hanjar, who did a true jihad in the Balkans, genociding half a million Europeans during World War II, which also seems to be the aim of Mr. Cal Sturmer and his curved Muslim sword in the logo of Sturmer's Gestapo. It shows three curved Muslim swords, which is, for them, our masters of Pharaoh's nobility, in this case, the feudal caliphate. So this is the official logo of the Essex police. Can you believe it? You know, this is not a European sword, eh? This is this here. This is the Hanjar. And this was the SS division Hanjar. It was the biggest SS division. So it was not at all about blue-eyed and blonde-haired, you know, not at all. You can imagine these guys here with this fez, you know, this Tommy Cooper hat here in red. 
you know, they, they were not really blonde and, and blue-eyed, eh? And um, so three, because it's them, our masters, the concept of three, which is the side of the pyramid, which is a hier hierarchy. And it's in the colors of the Knights Templars, but also of the Red House of Pharaoh and the White House of Pharaoh. Is there a concept of four? No, there isn't, because it's all about these guys here. They want a caliphate, they want a feudal system. It's the king, you see here, the crown with the Templars cross on top of it. You know, and the whole thing is in a octagon. And there's also two circles, and a circle is also the concept of three. So again, it's the same thing, you know. It's to the left then, or to the right, that was then, and now, to the left, it's now. And they got the same logo, you know, the same hanjar. This is a Muslim sword. They probably bought it, brought it back from the, from the Crusades or something. This is not European, you know. And uh, so this is again, uh, you know, as above, so below. And it could also be the other way around, you know, as I told you before. This was then in 1933, and this is now, you know, with Starmer's Gestapo. You know, everything is coming back, you know, nothing has changed really. They have no, our masters have no fantasy. They always come with the same strategies, the same logos, the same symbols, the, the same uniforms, the same lies, the same propaganda and the same Muslims, as back in the Second World War, and as it is happening now again, and also against the very same jaywalkers, back then and now, on the Caliphate's cars of Sussex, it shows the XLBS rainbow colors of the pink list killers. Allegedly, like Macron the monarch, who therefore protest all together, the pink list killers do, with the caliphate guys, their Hamas, Sham, and its Philistines. So here you can see it. This is on the police car of uh, Sussex. This is on their helmets, the Bobby helmet. You can see part of it. Eh? All the the Muslim swords, just like the Nazis had it in two divisions in the uh, in the Balkans. And here you can see also here. I, I show you a better picture, you know. And here these colors in it, and it says "Police with Pride." Well, what about our children then? I eh? I don't want my children. I don't want this for my children. Now I show you a better picture. So while making this uh, next collage, you know, which is a bit better because, here, you know, you can see it's a car with a wheel on it and everything, police with pride. Uh, I realized I, uh, I searched for Essex instead of Sussex because that woman, she was two days ago, she was arrested in Sussex. And I looked for Essex. Well, anyway, both are in uh, next to London, so you know it's not that bad, and they both have the word "sex" in it. You know, Starmer probably likes it. Maybe we should ask uh, Macron if Starmer likes it. If you know what I mean, they probably know that. You know, the pals, as we saw them on Armistice Day, eh? So, and this thing, you know, it makes. Um, there was this English guy. I forgot his name. He put four together and it makes a perfect swastika. And as I just told you, you know, think of the pink swastika, you know. And so you can take the S away. This is the sex police, you know. So what what would our children think about all this, you know? It says XLBS, yeah, plus, you know. Uh, I don't like this for my children, you know. So. The sex police with all the the rainbow colors and uh, the um, the three swords, the Muslim swords, maybe for a, um, a genital mutilation, as it is the sex police. Who know with all their colors? Maybe we can explain it like this to our kids, eh? Seeing all this, 
Starmer's XLBS Gestapo, curved Muslim swords, deliberate Nazi terror on the barbarians, Muslim SS divisions with their Muslim fez hat. It made me think of Tommy Cooper, whose trademark was the fez, you know, the red hat here. For sure, he'd have a good Tommy Cooper laugh about all this, which was his trademark, the laugh and the red Muslim fez, as you can see here. <laughs> I can't do it, but uh, you see him laughing at, you know, Tommy Cooper. You know, it really made me think of it. Oh, I miss Tommy Cooper, you know. We really would have needed Tommy Cooper in this age now, in this age and era. You know, it's all the same. You know, there was then, and this was also then. So what are we going to do without Tommy Cooper? You know, we are lost without Tommy Cooper, really. Eh? <laughs> oh, I can't do it, sorry. <laughs> this is my laugh. I thank you, Sturmer, because thanks to your deliberate terror on innocent Europeans in the UK, I had a look at your Essex Gestapo logos and discovered a lot. Thanks a lot, pal. So please do and give us more of your Gestapo terror, Stürmer. Bring it on, boot. And I'll deal with it appropriately and adequately. I'm hungry for more information. Bring it on, Swissy Stürmer, and I'll nail the box. My grandfather was an officer in Royal Navy Intelligence during World War II, and in my family we still have some World War II nails for today's Nazi covens and their principality. And last but not least, by accident I saw Starmer's eye flip into a vertical slit, which because of the censorship I can neither pronounce nor explain. Yeah, look at this right eye. It's a slit here. Kel der Sturmer is near to the royals through his knighting by King Charles and being in the secret order of the bloodbath. And in this royal house of Pharaoh's nobility, more weird stuff is going on, which I've already shown you in another video here on my channel. I will put the links of both videos, this one here and the other one, in the description. You all better keep an eye on Karl der Sturmer, who is not only snake alike poisonous for the English culture, but also flips his eyes like a snake. Remember that Pharaoh adored the snake and those who flip the eye.